Okay, the first question is, you talk very close to the microphone and even touch the pop filter. Is this going to impact audio in the long run? You will find you or you do find your consistency and distance to be lacking, but you hate the mouth noises of being close. First off, I also hate mouth noises. Secondly, do not self-harm. I know you're just goofing, but don't don't do that. Makes me want to do it too when I hear it, but do not do that. Please, if you do feel the urge, seek help. Seek professional help. There are services for that. I need to include that disclosure. And how will this impact your sound over the long run? As you already pointed out, as you noticed, when you get closer, the amount of mouth clicks in the recording is going to increase because they are being picked up much louder by the microphone. If you're farther away, the mouth clicks are going to be less prominent in your recording. That's the first way. It's going to impact your recording. The second way, proximity effect. Because the XM8500 is a directional microphone, as you get closer to the microphone, the proximity effect becomes more exaggerated, so you get a lot more low mids and bass. So as I get closer to this, not only is it getting louder, but you hear a lot more of that low mid section just becomes very beefy and very muddy. Very, very muddy. Another thing to consider in terms of long-term use, the closer you are to the microphone, the more likely you are to spit on it. And with something like the XM8500, I wouldn't be the most concerned with that. You said you have a pop filter. I don't know if it's a pop filter or a windscreen. A lot of people confuse those, but the pop filter will likely block a lot of that. A windscreen will block that too. I doubt you could buy a replacement ball for the end of the XM8500, but maybe you'd probably just end up buying a new one. But the buildup of spit on your pop filter, on your windscreen, can impact the sound, and it will make you sound a lot worse because you will be vomiting while you're recording when you look at the caked on food I saw that on a Twitch stream where he eats all the time on his stream. And I saw the pop filter just peeked out from behind the microphone. It was caked in food. I started gagging. It it was one of the most repulsive things I have ever seen. Stop it. Get, Get some help. So yes, it will impact your recording over the long term. But you can change out the pop filter. You can change out the windscreen. And... If you want to get farther away from the microphone, you can decrease the proximity effect and you can decrease the mouth clicks that get picked up. Now, I would recommend practicing because you said that your consistency in terms of distance is terrible. The only way you're going to improve at that is practice. I wouldn't recommend just jumping into a critical recording and trying this out oh, this is going to be the last chance I get to record this. I'm going to experiment. Probably don't do that. Stick with what you know. Stick to what you do well in those situations for now. But when you're not doing critical recordings, experiment, practice, record, listen back, make adjustments. And through that practice and through that repetition, you will get much better at keeping a consistent distance from the microphone. That is my main advice for your first question, and I hope that helps. Best of luck. I think that is a great project that you're working on, interviewing and recording family members while they're still around. That is an incredible project to be working on. The second question, well, you also say something about the Black Bay 58. I'm not going to talk watches here because I know there are some people who are just like, shut up, Bandrew, shut up. More watch talk? You are so annoying. I get it. When I get interested in something, I get really interested in it, and I don't stop talking about it. I won't be quiet. So I'm not going to turn this podcast into a watch talk podcast. I've done that in the past, and people don't care. Most people don't care. I have a watch channel if you want to hear me rant about watches. But thank you.